All right, this is just going to be hard for pretty much anybody. Even if you're in 11th grade, this is going to be a hard question. Uh, so if you're in 8th and 9th, good luck. But um, it's a great example of let's just get started with um, the most, I guess, uh, useful way to think about math questions on the PSAT and SAT, plug points into equations. It should be obvious that at the very least, we can do that pretty quickly, right? We have an equation and we've got two points. So let's plug them in, right? So if we take that first one, the, the x-intercept, x is 2 and y is 0. So the y, remember, is this part, right? They even just tell us here that that's how it behaves. But that's just function notation. You should get comfortable with that no matter what situation you've got. The, that kind of f of x, g of x, whatever that side is, that's basically behaving like a y. So we can plug in there. So the first thing I get then is that 0 is equal to a squared plus b. I don't know a and b though. So I don't know what to do with this. This is okay, don't erase it, just write it down, see what we get. Let's let's plug in the other one. Let's do uh, this point here, let me switch colors. So let's do this point, this is the y-intercept. So in this case, negative 323 is equal to a to the zero plus b. Well now that one we've got some power with here. Zero is a great number, but it's much better when it's on the complicated side of an equation because zero uncomplicates things very quickly. A to the zero, we just need to know any number to the zero power is one. So this is really negative 323 is equal to one plus B. Now I, don't, I know we don't know what A is, but I don't care, okay? That's it, this is just a rule of math that A is, or anything to the zero is going to be one. So we can make that substitution and then suddenly this question opens up, right? We can then say, all right, well, let's subtract one and that'll get us B, right? So that cancels this out and negative 323 minus one is negative 324. And they wanted B. So remember I started saying it's a hard question. It's hard because most people read this and are like, no way. No way, this is too crazy. I've never learned anything like this. This is nuts. This sounds insane. I don't know exponentials. I don't, I don't know how this is gonna work. Negative 323 is such a weird number. It scares you. But this is also the power of plug points into equations, is it lets us get past all those doubts and just try something. And yeah, sometimes it's not gonna help that much. Sometimes you'll plug in and you'll still have a lot of work to do. Sometimes you'll plug in and you'll still get stuck. But sometimes you'll plug in those points and something will just happen. That's why it didn't bother me that when I plugged into this first equation, I, I was still stuck. Okay, maybe I'll use that part later. Maybe I needed that. And if we did need to solve for A instead, then all we would do is take that value of B now, plug it in for B in the, the red equation, and then solve for A using some basic algebra. So we there's another version of this question where that's exactly what we would need to do. But this version just, all it really required at the end of the day was that you know that anything to the zero power is equal to one. That's it, that's a basic kind of rule of math and rule, rule of exponents, so you gotta know that. And then suddenly this is just like an easy question. So don't, don't get intimidated, right? Just, just try to go through the test, especially the hard questions, thinking about points and equations. And if you're stuck, if you just need something to try, plug a point into an, in a, into an equation, especially in a situation like this, where it's very clear that they're giving you both of those things, points and equations. And we'll see other questions, you know, where sometimes they don't give us the equation and we can pull one from our memory, or they don't give us the point, and we can pull one from a story, we can pull one from uh, just arithmetizing and making it up. But coming back to that same strategy is really helpful for when things get confusing. Plugging points into equations helps in a lot of situations and it might save you a bunch of points and knock your score up into that next level. So it's especially important as you practice, try to just use that as your, your parachute whenever you feel like you're falling.